Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in Three Minutes. We go straight to the point. The subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Let's start. The topic for, the, for today is Addison disease. Here are the steps to this presentation. Anatomy, physiology, a remainder of the adrenal gland. The hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis. Definition of Addison disease. Epidemiology. Cause of the disease. Associated autoimmune disease. Symptom of the disease. Mechanism of melanoderma. Primary versus secondary adrenal insufficiency, synaction test, complication of adrenal insufficiency, acute adrenal insufficiency, and treatment. The adrenal gland, there is two areas, medulla and cortical. There is three zones in cortical. Glomerular zone, fascicular, fasciculata zone, and reticularis zone. Glomerulosa, fasciculata, and reticularis. The glomerulosa zone is for mineralocorticoid. To remember that, salt. Fasciculata is for glucocorticoid. To remember that, sugar. Reticularis is for androgen. To remember that, sex. Medulla is for epinephrine, adrenaline, and noradrenaline. To remember that, fight and flight. GFR. G, glomerula for salt. F, fasciculata for sugar. And R, Recutularis for sex androgen. Hypothalamus pituitary adrenal adrenal axis. Hypothalamus anterior pituitary and adrenal cortex axis. Hypothalamus stimulate anterior pituitary and anterior pituitary stimulate adrenal cortex. Stimulation from hypothalamus to anterior pituitary is by CRH. Stimulation of adrenal cortex by anterior pituitary is by ECTH. The result is given to cortisol. But when the level of cortisone rise, it sends a, a negative feedback to anterior pituitary and a negative feedback for hypothalamus. What is Addison disease? Addison disease or primary adrenal insufficiency is endocrine disorder in which the adrenal glands do not produce enough steroid hormone. Addison disease affects about uh, 1 per 10,000 people in the developed world. It occurs most frequently in middle age for men, 1 for 10,000. Secondary adrenal surgery is more common. Long term outcomes with treatment are typically good. Cause in developed world, Autoimmune system is damaged. In developing world, tuberculosis.
both of them lead to decrease of cortisol and aldosterone. Certain medication can cause the disease, sepsis, and bleeding. Secondary adrenal insufficiency, ACTH produced by gland is low. Anterior pituitary give low ACTH in secondary adrenal insufficiency. It could be ACTH produced by hypothalamus is low. The hypothalamus give low level of CRH. Adrenal crisis can occur in all form. Addison disease is associated with other autoimmune diseases like type 1 diabetes, Hashimoto thyroiditis, celiac disease, and vitiligo. Addison disease may be the only manifestation of underdiagnosed celiac disease. Both diseases share the same genetic risk factor HLA-DQ2 and HLA-DQ holotype. Addison, in addition to mucocutaneous candida disease and hypoparathyroidism or both is called autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome type 1. Addition, in addition, in addition to autoimmune thyroid disease, type 1, diabetes, or both is called autoimmune polyendocrine syndrome type 2. Addition disease is linked to autoimmune like celiac disease, diabetes type 1, Hashimoto thyroiditis, and vitiligo. Symptoms come on slowly, abdomen pain, weakness and weight loss, a darkness of the skin of certain area. There is asthenia, anorexia, hypotension, hypoglycemia, digestive disturbance, and depression. M E H D2 melanodermia, asthenia, anorexia, hypotension, hypoglycemia, digestive disturbance, and depression. M for melanodermia, A for asthenia, A for anorexia, H for hypotension, H for hypoglycemia, and D for digestive disturbance and depression. Complication, adrenal crisis triggered by stress, injury, surgery, infection, hypotension, vomiting, and loss of conscience. What is hyperpigmentation? Darkening of the skin, including air and not exposed to the sun. Skin craze the hand, nipple, and buccal mucosa. All scar may darken. This occurs because NSH, melanocyte stimulating hormone, and ACTH are the same precursor molecule, POMC. Pro opio melanocortin. POMC is produced in the anterior pituitary gland and gets cleaved into gamma MSH, ACTH, and beta lipoprotein. The subunit ACTH produces alpha MSH, the most important MSH for skin pigmentation. In secondary and tertiary form of adrenal insufficiency, skin darkening does not occur, as ACTH is not overproduced. Diagnosis, low blood sugar, low blood sodium, high blood potassium, isonophilia, lymphocytes, and metabolic acidosis. I repeat, low sugar, low sodium, and high potassium, isonophilia, lymphocytosis, and metabolic acidosis.
primary adrenal insufficiency versus secondary adrenal insufficiency. We make the short synactin test and the measure of the ACTH. For primary adrenal insufficiency, we make the short synactin test. We give synactin and the, we take uh, the cortisol in base lane 30 minutes and 60 minutes. Normal cortisol should do double after 60 minutes. If the cortisol is low, it's primary adrenal insufficiency. For secondary adren adrenal insufficiency, we measure the ACTH. If cortisol low, ACTH low, it's pituitary damage. Primary versus secondary, hyperpigmentation in primary, now in secondary. Dehydration in primary, zero in, second, uh, in secondary. And hypercalmia mia, present in primary, absent in secondary. And hypoglycemia is more in uh, secondary than in primary. Hyperpigmentation primary, dehydration primary, hypercalmia primary, and hypoglycemia secondary. Complication, adrenal crisis triggered by stress, surgery, infection, hypotension, vomiting, and loss of consciousness. Adrenal crisis is a life-threatening and there is an energy treatment. Severe adrenal insufficiency, Waterhouse Friedrichsen syndrome, apoplexy of adrenal gland, vascular collapse, suddenly stopping intake of cortisone, or congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Adrenal crisis, it can occur if there is sudden stopping intake of cortisone. Of cortisone. Apoplexia of adrenal gland. Severe adrenal insufficiency, waterhouse radiation syndrome and vascular collapse. Treatment involves replacing the absent hormone, corticosteroid, hydrocortisone, and fluorocortisone. Lifelong continuous steroid replacement therapy is required. A high cell diet, if symptoms worsen, an injection of corticosteroid is recommended and people should carry a dose with them. Lifelong treatment, hydrocortisone and fluorocortisone. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the button like and subscribe? Your comments are very welcome. Thank you.